Welcome to Salon Scheduler. This is step five. We're going to show you real quickly how to set up your phones, your M1 Mac, or your Windows devices. We mention M1 Mac because if you have an older Mac that's pre-2020, um, uh, Apple changed their chipset. They no longer use Intel chips, and those are very difficult. They don't basically they don't support them anymore for new software. So if you want to, uh, if you want the scheduler to run on your Mac, make sure you have a newer Mac. Um, you can tell by tapping on the little Apple on your Mac and tapping on About, and it'll tell you if your processor is an M1 or Intel. Okay, if it's Intel, it's gonna be, if it's gonna be an M1, it'll be 2020 or later Mac. But uh, m most people, if you're trying to set up your iPhone or if you're trying to set up your iPad or Windows device or even your M1 Mac, first thing you want to do is tap on the three-line menu on the scheduler. And you want to tap on info help contact us and then tap on tap on text me getting started info put in your cell phone number okay and um, once you put in your cell phone number what it's going to do is the system is going to um, okay there i'm just going to do that right now the system is going to send you some text messages and uh, those are very important text messages the yeah, same thing go ahead and do it again tap the three line menu tap on info help contact us email getting started info and go ahead and put in your email address okay and the reason both these are important is because these uh the the email or the uh video that you're going i'm sorry the email or the text message you're going to get is going to contain some really really useful information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and pull open the um the email that we just received um i'm going to show it to you okay so here we go i'm going to show you this um this is the email you'll get. The text message will be very similar, okay? Now, what you notice about this email, first of all, it gives you a login token, okay? That's the 13 digits that are alphanumeric, and the case is case does not matter, so you don't have to worry about uppercase, lowercase. This is your login token that all your employees are gonna use to log into their apps. You only need to use it one time, okay? You can always, this is our email address if you need it, and um, be sure to keep that for you, because you'll be able to send us information um, you know, really easily or questions if you have any. And um, we give you a link to the reporting and the customer online scheduling. We'll talk about those later, okay? Here's a link. We also give you a link to download the app to your phones, okay? And this is easy because instead of looking for it, you can just click on the link if you have the text. You can also send that text message to all your employees, okay? For Windows, we give you a quick find to it so you don't have to go find the app or anything. And you just install the app, it's free. Same thing with Google Play Store, you can download the app, okay? When you download the app, it's gonna ask for a login token. This is the login token. And it's gonna ask for the employee pin code. Again, remember the employee pin code is what you set up for each employee under the employee app, under the employee app when you set up each Clover employee, okay? So, um, so that's what you're gonna do to log in. You can log in as soon as you want into the system as, as, as long as you've set up the scheduler as long as you've set up your employees in the scheduler at least one time, okay? If you have an employee that needs to log in but they don't schedule, then you wanna make sure to turn them on as an employee that performs services and then come over to the employee and tap on, um, tap on the change view and tap on, um, I'm sorry, don't do that. What you wanna do, if you have an employee that needs to log in but they don't schedule appointments, then tap on the settings button, three line menu, settings, and then tap on the employee settings. And let's say Luciano, he, he's a front desk person. He doesn't actually perform services, okay? Then you can tap on settings, make column invisible. See that right there? And so if you tap that, then Luciano will be available. He'll be able to log into his phone device, but he won't be showing up as a column on the scheduler and he won't be schedulable, okay? So that's, a, that's what you wanna know. Now that's what you wanna do to, get to log in. Remember again, if you wanted to change the settings for each employee as far as their access, what they can see when they log in, make sure you tap the three line menu, you tap on settings, employee settings, and under settings for each employee, you can change the phone access, right? You can change if they see all employees appointments or just their own. You can change if they can edit employee, uh, edit appointments or schedules or neither. And you can decide if they can see phone numbers or not, okay? So uh, just a, that's a quick reminder there, make sure you do that. This, uh, this applies to the Windows version, the M1 Mac, as well as iPhones and iPad. Now, after you're done setting up your categories, make sure you go ahead and text us and let us know you have completed step five and text us at 
469-269-2053. Again, 469-269-2053. Let us know you finished step five and we'll um, and text us with any questions you have also. Okay, and we'll help you with that. Then we're going to help you get going with step six. Thanks.